guys, AFC Adino here, playing against Yagami. That's like a weep name, man. <laughs> like a n n anime character. Yeah, I'm gonna lead up with Clefable. Clefable has a pretty good matchup against his team, I guess. He decides to lead up with Milotic, so I'm just gonna hit him up with the Toxic. If this is Flame, but, uh, fl flame Orb, then I prefer it getting poisoned, <laughs> obviously. But he goes for Toxic himself, perhaps he thought I was unaware. Who knows, but yeah, I'll get up my Stealth Rocks as he actually goes for Skull. Well, I get Leftovers Recovery, so I'm just gonna click Moonblast here. Uh, because if he switches out, I'll damage something. He actually decides to stay in. So, I get another Moonblast damage off. And he gets chipped pretty low as well. I'm gonna soft boil right up here. As he actually goes for another Scald. Damn. Not sure what I should expect from this guy. Felt like he should have switched into Skarmory or something ages ago. But I'm gonna soft boil up there. In case he does stay in for some reason. Okay, he does make the Tangrowth play now. This might be a uh, Assault Fest, but I'm gonna go for Toxic here. I want to knock me off. I do get him poisoned. He actually goes for Sludge Bomb. I do have uh, the leftovers. Um, I'm gonna go for the Soft Boil in case he crits me. Like, I could click Moonblast, but if he crits me, it's just a shame if my Clefable dies. Oh, he does grab me. I'm psychic, guys. I'm psychic. Because if I lose Clefable, then his Dragonite might win against me. So. <laughs> Gotta keep this alive. Actually goes for another Sludge Bomb. Poison really starting to rack up. And uh, again, clicking some Boil. And Toxic Clefable actually 1v6ing his team, man. <laughs> he goes for knockoff now. And yeah, I'm clicking Moonblast here just to knock him out. He stays in, Tangrove goes down. Let's see what he does now. He goes into Jolteon. Um, I don't think you click HP Ice in this situation. Um, my guard jump is not that important anymore. I just go into my guard jump. If he doesn't go for an electric attack, it's fine. He actually goes for Shadow Ball. And we don't see Life Orb, so I think it's Specs. Still, it still did a lot, so I think it's specs. Um, I'm clicking Earthquake here. As he goes into Milotic, deciding to sack the Milotic. This does give him a chance to go into his Cloister. But I'll just Outrage straight straight away on the Cloister. Doubt rocks are up as well, so I might even knock it out from here. Hopefully. If he goes for Ice Shard, that means he uh, doesn't, he won't get uh, the Shell Smash boost. If he does go for Ice Shard, knocks me out. He's actually Life Orbed, but he doesn't have King's Rock, which means quite confident going into my Suicune here. I'm quite confident because I have Rocks up. Uh, Clefable is still pretty much at full HP, so Dragonite is not that much of a big deal to me. I can just go for Calm Mind here. As he goes for a Rock Blast, that's fine. Still takes Life Orb damage. And I'm just gonna click Scald now. Should knock him out, this one. Because if I protect and he goes for Shell Smash, it could be annoying. But we knock out the Cloister. And I'm getting Suicune pretty healthy again. He decides to go Jolteon, so what I can do is actually... Uh, as protect knowing that he is choice packs he goes for the electric attack here hmm we go guard jump here but i'll just go for scald because i'm at plus one as well yeah just to get some extra chip off you know now um let's see how, how do i want to play this like i don't need suicune to win I don't, I don't need Suicune. My guard jump was dead, by the way. So <laughs> I'm just gonna go. Just gonna stay in. And now I'm gonna pursue Trap him with Metagross.
And that's basically... He cannot knock me out because he's choice back, so he has to click an electric attack or he has to switch out. Goes for Thunderbolt. So we go for the pursuit. And... He could go Skarmory here, but that will just invite my uh, Zapdos. So I felt like he should have used that opportunity to go for his D9, but perhaps he was fearing Ice Punch. Yes. Yeah, I'll go Zapdos now. And not even Dragonite can switch it now. Goes for rocks, that's completely fine. I'll just click Discharge. Like, those stealth rocks are not gonna affect my Clefable. And I only need my Clefable for D Knight. So Skarmory goes down. And after I, I'm I'm definitely I will definitely be able to get off two discharges. But I'm gonna go for U-turn instead. Because he's faster. Goes for Earthquake. So maybe he was banded and predicting my Clefable coming in or something. I don't know what his uh, thought process was there. But because he didn't Dragon this, I can bring in my Alakazam and click Psychic and knock this out. So my Alakazam also getting some screen time. But it was really my Clefable who opened up this game <laughs> with Toxic. Yo, what is up guys? My name is AFC Udino and I'm playing against my boy Italian Pizza. Uh, should be a fun game. He's a guy from our guild. And I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. Um, let's see. I'm gonna lead off with my Suicune. Uh, purely because... Suicune, my Suicune has a pretty good matchup against this team. Because uh, if his Tangrowth... If I can get up a Calmite and stuff against this Tangrowth, then I can PP stall Tangrowth. And he doesn't have a good Skull switch in besides Tangrowth. Yeah, he leads off with his Garchomp. And I'm just gonna hit the Scald. If he is Sword Stance, I will lose a Pokemon most likely if I don't get the burn. Okay, he is Sword Stance. Let's burn him. Come on. No. Okay. But because he is Sword Stance, uh, that means I can Revenge kill him with Alakazam. Not sure if he can knock me out with Earthquake here. I don't think he can knock me out. So maybe it's worth going for another Scald. Because I'm not sure if Psychic will kill from here. I don't have HPIs on my Alakazam. I just scald as I live with 1 HP, guys! 1 HP, let's go! <laughs> well, it wouldn't have mattered anyway because... <laughs> he, after Life Orb, he put himself in range of Psychic anyway. But yeah, I'm gonna protect here. And I'm just gonna let this die now. Yeah. So he puts himself at 23%, so I guess that's fine. Now I have to go into Alakazam. Not sure if my Bullet Punch from my Metagross will knock him out. Because my Metagross is not offensive. It's a Assault Fest Metagross. So I'm clicking Shadow Ball here. It should knock out the Guard Jump. Uh, and it should hit the T-Tar as well. He decides to stay in. I I mean hitting the T-Tar. Just getting some damage off. And perhaps I get a Spin Death Drop on the T-Tar if he brought it in. Like if he goes T-Tar now, I'll just click Focus Blast. If he's Scarfed, I will be faster anyway. Only way he can live is if he's uh, Max Defense, Assault Fest, or if he has a Chuckle Berry. If he's any other set, then he will die to Focus Blast. Okay, he does go t tar here, so I'm just gonna click it, guys. We're just gonna click it. Okay, we do connect 93. But we don't see Chapel Berry, so this is AV. And I live. Wait, what? He actually. Oh, he's ma completely max defense, special defense. I'll click Focus Blast again. Damn. Damn. <laughs> max special defense. Yeah, I guess. Okay, unfortunately, I missed this one. He knocks me out with Pursuit. I guess oh, it was about to happen. What I can do now. Um, Metagross can knock it out, but I'd, I'd rather go Zapdos and just U-turn. U-turn should knock him out from here. And if he switches, switches, I'll still get the initiative. Even though he doesn't have a good switch for this, yeah. I go for U-turn, I knock him out. And let's see. I go. Jumpy brings in Tangrowth. That means he won't bring in his scissor. Yeah, 
I'll, I'll just bring in my guard. This at least makes sure he doesn't bring in his Magnezone or his Scizor. He does go Dangrove here, so I can go into my Clefable and get up the rocks. He goes for HP Ice. He does take Sandstorm damage, but yeah, he does a Regenerator as well. So I'm just gonna Stealth Rock here. As he decides to go for Sleep Powder, that's fine. Um, still have Septos alive, so I'm not too afraid. I'm just gonna stay in here. As he goes for Knockoff, that's fine as well. And I'm just clicking uh, Moon Blast in case I wake up and he switches into either one of his Pokemon. Just getting the chip off. So he does go scissor here and he takes rocks damage and if i do wake up that would be nice as well we don't so i should be waking up the next turn because i'm asleep for two turns and i'll just go set those here or do i just is it, he showed leftovers so maybe he's going into garchomp could be he might go for uh defog here if i can get a fire blast off that would be nice actually goes for u-turn damn that's really bad for me. He does take the rough skin damage. But taking the damage. It's actually a lot of damage, guys. You showed leftovers. So this might be an offensive leftovers scissor. That, that did a lot, guys. He goes back into his Stangrove. And I'll just go into Clefable again. Goes for hidden power ice. And let's attempt to go for Toxic here. Because I should be waking up. He goes into Scissor. Yeah. Fortunate. Oh, I, I'm actually fast asleep. That's nice. Because now he still doesn't know that I have Toxic. Uh, now I will go into Zapdos though. As he goes for Defog now. Yeah. <laughs> well, he got me on the last U-turn. But I don't. Is he? I'm just gonna discharge here. This way, I also get to see whether his Tangrove is AV or not. He actually goes into Gyarados. What? He just gave me Gyarados. Why would you switch in your Gyarados against the Septos? Maybe he was predicting my U-turn. I guess. Yeah, now he goes into his Magnezone. And... I'm just gonna roost. Because now he shows Joy Scarf. I, I, I will stay at full HP. Again, I will just press... Um, discharge. I don't want this thing Swords Dancing in my face. <laughs> goes for Uten here. It takes Rocky Helmet damage. Now Tangrove comes in and I will U-turn into my um into my Clefable. And it's time to get up get get him up again. Or or <laughs> no. Let's go for style rocks. Uh, I will go hard into my I will go hard into my guard jump because bullet punch should not knock me out from here. Because he has leftovers and his U-turn did less than half. So I will take fire blast here and knock him out. Actually goes Stangrove, so let's see. Is AV? That's not AV. That was a defensive Tangrove guy, so we knock him out. And we should still be living the bullet punch. He goes into his Magnezone here. And he has to click Flash Cannon, guys. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to go into my Metagross. We know he's Scarfed because he outsped our Zapdos. And we easily tank this. And I'm just going to click Pursuit here because I want some damage off. I know he's going to switch into his uh, Scissor. And we just go hard Septos here. 
With guard jump alive, he can never. He can never really click. Um, he can never really click an electric move with um, with his Magnezone. He goes for the U-turn there. And I don't want to let Septos die. I'm going to go Clefable. Clefable is my most expendable member. Like his Tangrowth is dead, so I don't need him. He's not going to beat the Scissor. He's not going to beat. Um, oh, he actually shows Discharge. huh? But I'll just go Guard Jump here. Just still be living the Bullet Punch. We know he's scarfed. So it takes rocks damage, and I think he should be in range of Earthquake. Because he is max attack. He doesn't have an Iron Plate or Choice Band, so he shouldn't knock me out from here. So Earthquake should do the job here. Are you serious? <laughs> he gets a crit. Damn. Well, my Metagross should still beat his Magnezone. <laughs> ah, come on. I'll just press Discharge here. As he stays in. And he goes for U-turn, so he not he's gonna die. I guess I could have roosted as well. In hindsight. But my Metagross should still, should still beat this. I'm gonna roost. He actually has discharge. Oh, he has discharge over T ball. This could be bad, guys. Guys, if he paralyzes my Metagross, is he, he's going to be faster. Earthquake will not come out, but if he paralyzes me. No, 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 no. Please, not like this, guys. Not like this. Come on. Metagross, thank you. Let's go. Metagross, the goat. Holy fuck. This was really scary guys, holy shit, but we pulled it off, so I hope you guys did enjoy this battle. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel as well, make sure to hit the notification bell to know when my videos are live for you, and leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video, also check out my Discord channel, link down in the description, and follow me on Instagram. But that's it for now, so peace out, and I'll see you guys next time.